In this particular lecture, let's learn what exactly is JSX. So we have already created a component and we have said multiple times that a component actually returns some JSX code. So now let's understand what exactly is JSX. So JSX is a special syntax which stands for JavaScript extension. And JSX allows you to combine HTML with JavaScript. So uh, this code right here is actually an HTML, but what you could also do is you could also include some JavaScript code in there as well. So let's take an example to understand this. So as this is a component, let me create some variable here outside the component. So let's say I say const, let's create a variable called as name and let's say the name is drop. All right. So a normal HTML tag won't be able to include any kind of JavaScript within itself. However, if you take a look at this code, this code isn't normal JavaScript, but instead this is JSX and JSX should allow us to add JavaScript code in there. So whenever you have to include some JavaScript code inside your JSX, you make use of curly brackets like that. And inside this curly bracket, you could go ahead and write in any kind of JavaScript code in there. So let's say, for example, if I want to display uh, the contents of the name variable here, so I would type a name here which is nothing but it refers to this variable right here. And this variable is just a regular normal JavaScript variable. So now let's see what happens if I go back to the home page. So here it says hello from a component and then we have Rob. So what JSX did is that it kind of rendered this HTML for us on the web page and it also evaluated this particular JavaScript code for us as well. So that means you could not simply just write JavaScript variables in there, but you could also go ahead and write JavaScript expressions as well. So let's go ahead and let's try to do that. So instead of name, let's say I want to write a JavaScript expression here. Uh, so let's say we want to write a JavaScript mathematical expression. So I could say something like 10 plus 20. And if I save this code, if I go back, as you can see, it has actually evaluated that particular expression for us. So now let's go ahead and let's try to do something more complex. So let's say over here, I create some JavaScript function. So let's say function uh, display message. Let's say this is a function uh, which returns something. So let's make this thing return some message like wow. All right. So now let's call that particular function here and let's see what exactly happens. So I would say display message. Let's call this function here just as we would call a normal JavaScript function. And if I do that, even that function is going to be evaluated. And as that function returns wow, this wow gets displayed up over here. So this is what exactly JSX is. Now, while talking about JSX, there are a couple of rules of this JSX, which you need to understand and which needs to be followed. So one such example is that Whenever you are returning some JSX from a component, it should only return a single element. So what exactly do I mean by that? So to understand this, let's take an example. So let me clean up all the code from here. So right now, this component which we have, it's returning a one single root element, which is this h1 element. And let's try to see what happens if we add one more element in there. So let's say I create another h1 element and this time I say, wow. All right. So if you save this, you're going to get an error. And if you actually go ahead, take a look at the error here. It says adjacent JSX elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag. That's because now our component is actually returning two root elements and that should not be the case. Instead, we should be returning a one single root element and you could have multiple elements in that single return root element. So what exactly do I mean by that? So what you could do is if you want to return two headings, that's absolutely fine. You could just cut this. So cut this and create a single div element. And inside this div element, you could actually have your two H1s like that. Now this won't be a problem. So now if you save this code, go back here. Now we have your two headings displayed up over here. But if you take a look at the root element here, we have a single root element called as div. 
And that is why whenever you typically create functions, you always, always return a single div and whatever other content or other JSX code which you want to return, you could actually have in between those two divs. And as long as you do that and follow that rule, you should have no problem at all. So I hope this kind of gives you an idea about what exactly JSX is and how it could be used. Now in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn about the reusability of components. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.